There's my nails. But what I'm gonna do is we're not gonna really worry about it. There we go. We got it somewhere. We got it enough. everybody doing today good because we're back with another video you guys today you guys we have a quick little video today um give me a minute Whew. so yeah today guys we have a quick little video okay and what we are gonna do today is your girl has some nice cut choice Real bisects, okay? And they are, are the bone in. And my nail pierced that. You guys don't worry about it. Okay? We have some nice cut rib eye steaks. And yeah, your girl is going to go ahead and prep them so she can marinate them and get them together. You guys, are you guys truly doing good? Good. That's what's up. I hope you guys enjoy your week. I hope you guys enjoy the holiday with each and every one. And, yeah. What we're going to do is put these on in this bowl right here. And I know some of you guys are saying, well, where's your gloves? But, hey, this is for, for my household. Look how big these steaks are. That one might be Carter's. <laughs> but this one definitely Mama's. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, we got these from Kroger's for the low. They were 34, but now I got them for 24. And I'm just going to go over here quickly and I'm going to give these a rinse. Okay, guys, so as you see, I have gave those a rinse. And I'm just looking in the cabinet for my Worcestershire, my Worcestershire sauce, okay? Because I like to marinate them in this as well. So, what we're going to do, and we're just going to go in and Get these prepped and ready for me to marinate for a couple of hours before I decide which route I'm going to take. And then I'm going to sit these over in a pan that I have on the side. And we're just going to start with the little one. Uh -uh. I'm just going to open the lids up right quick. Yeah, so I hope everybody enjoyed their week with their family. Because I know I am going to, I have enjoyed mine. And so what we have here is some Kaja or Kayan. I don't know why I always get those two mixed up when it's time to use them. I don't know. Am I the only one that do that? A little Italian seasoning. And we got some meat tenderizer right here. Just gonna sprinkle it just like that. That's it. Boom. Now, what I'm gonna do is put a second meat in here, right? And I'm gonna do it just like so. Why? Because I want to flip it. And I want to start this process all over again. And you know, I know a lot of people like to use their steak season, but I like to do this this way. That way I have control over, I don't know, did I do this? I don't know. I think I did. But anyhow, I have control over how much goes in here, you know? And we're going to just go on and twirl it because we want all that seasoning. And we're going to go with the next one. 
Well, let's, yeah, we're going to go with the next one. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm all over the place. I just got to get the end. Because I think I want to put them on the grill. You know, I think that's how I want to have, have it on the grill. And I figure I have some salad, sweet potatoes with it. Okay, and I'm going to do this one. Same way. Oh, excuse me, you guys. Oh, bless me. Mm -mm, let me make sure I'm rolling. Mm. Okay. And we're going to go on here and flip this. I think I got all of them. Seasoning on there. So, me tenderizer. Oops. Let's go back and get this one. Me tenderizer. Italian. And jerk. Steak. Put it right here. Did you know that wishing air sauce was a, a tenderizer as well? I know I didn't for a long time, but I like to keep it on dead because you never know when you're going to use it. I got a little extra or not, but it's okay because it ain't gonna do nothing for marinade. And yeah, let's see if I can go on here and slide on the glove to mix this all in here. If I can just get them past my nails, I'll be doing all right. Oh, can't get it past my nails. But what I'm going to do is we're not going to really worry about it. There we go. We got it somewhere. We got it enough. They're a little tight, but we got it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this on around here. Cause oh yeah. I got a ton of rice down in there. You know what? Let me put some onion flavor on this. Put some onion flavor. into this because I was going to chop up an onion but we're just going to put us some onion powder on here and 
but that's looking at. Yeah, that's how we, well, that's how I tenderize my steaks. If you're a first time viewer, thumbs me up. Share this video with any, everyone share it around the world, you guys. And, yeah, just giving you some ideas on how to marinate your steak. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this steak in the refrigerator. And I'm going to let it marinate for a couple of hours before I decide to do what I do. And, yeah, we'll bring it right back, the video right back to you guys. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, so as you see, I got the steaks on the grill, and they are ready to roll. And yes, you guys, like I say, look how big these steaks are. Yes, we're going to take a look at these steaks, you guys. Oh, my heavens. Yes, excuse my appearance, but, you know, we have to do what we have to do. Yes, look at there. Look at the deliciousness, you guys. Oh my goodness. I had a taste for this today. And I figure I might as well bring you guys a video. Excuse the line, even though we do have a line service. Well, actually family or, you know, family business. And yeah, so your girl wanted to flame bro her own steak or whatever you want to call it, grill. Oh my goodness. You guys, you have to try that marinade recipe. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be so delicious. But anywho, you guys, this is the end of the video, you guys. Don't forget, like, comment, and share. Share this video with any, everyone. Let them know what your girl is doing on her channel. And yes, you guys, I'll see you guys on the next video. Yes, the next video, you guys. And enjoy your Sunday, which happened to be Easter. So happy Easter to everyone. Sending much love from my house to yours. Bye-bye.